Hello guys, we have a new edition of Learning Chinese with Eric. Today, we will learn the words stop and go in Chinese. To say the word stop, say 停. To say go in Chinese, say 吃. Good afternoon, Yorktown, and welcome to a brand new episode of The Core. My name is Cynthia, and today is October 10th, 2017. Let's get things started by taking a look at today's weather conditions with our student meteorologist, Mark. Hello Yorktown, I'm student meteorologist Mark. It is right around 1 o'clock and the temperature outside is a breezy 73 degrees. As you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing partly cloudy skies with a slight wind. Today appears to be a perfect day to play at the park or take a walk. As always, have yourself a wonderful day and let's take it back to the studio. Thanks for that update Mark. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Ryan, and here are some jokes to remember the next time in a situation to tell some jokes. How do all the oceans say hello to each other? They wave! What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese! Join us again for some jokes tomorrow, and until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Ryan. Now for all the word lovers out there, we present to you the word of the day. Hi, my name is Justin, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is slake. Slake is a verb. Slake is defined as satisfy, relieve, or bring an end to. Sate and ease are synonyms for slake. In a sentence, slake can be used like this. Nothing can slake the thirst better than water. Slate, can you use it today? Thanks kids, now let's go to Sophia with today's true or false. Hello, my name is Sophia and today's true or false topic is pigs. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. True or false, pigs can play joystick controlled video games. If you said true, then you were correct. True or false, pigs can get tattoos. If you said true, then you were correct. True or false, pigs are slow animals. False. Adult pigs can run up to 11 miles per hour. Thanks for watching today's True or False. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, kids. Now, from the creative minds of Ethan and Eddie, it's today's stop motion short titled Life of a Pencil. At Strang Middle School, we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. Today, we are going to present you with a situation based on an actual event. Names have been changed to protect the individuals involved. You've noticed Tony, an 8th grader, calling Sam, a 6th grader, rude names on the bus on and off since the beginning of the school year. Sam seems uncomfortable but ignores the behavior. Today, Tony gets another two 8th graders to join on the name calling. What do you do? Let's see what some students had to say. I would tell Tony to stop bullying Sam. If I saw this on the bus, I would um, confront them or tell an adult. I would tell the teachers or even the principal about this. Maybe they would get them to stop. I would tell a teacher. I would tell a teacher about the kid's action. If I saw this, I would tell a teacher. I would stand up for him. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Xavier with Today in History. Hello, my name is Xavier and I am going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this date in the year 1845, the United States Naval Academy was formed. Based on this event, we are going to focus today's facts on the U.S. Navy. In the U.S. Navy, there are 323,197 personnel on duty. The Navy has a fleet of over 430 ships. This has been Today in History for October 10, 2017. Now let's take it back to the studio. Thanks, kids. We were wondering, did you have a dream last night? If so, what was it about? Let's see what the kids in the hall had to say. I had a dream about my birthday. My dream? I was stuffed into a locker. I suffocated. Was, I was playing LeBron James in a one-on-one, -on -one and I won. 
Last night I had a dream where I was walking and then I fell and I looked up and I saw my cousins and they were just laughing and pointing at me for some reason. And they were saying something, like they were like teasing me about me falling and I didn't even know why I fell. Last night I dreamed about hugging Stitch. Last night I did not dream of anything. Thanks kids, now let's go to Shereasy with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, Yorktown. My name is Shereasy and today's lesson is from math class. Today in math class, we learned about ratio tables. A ratio table is a table to find an equivalent ratio. You can use a ratio table by dividing or multiplying to find the missing number. That's all from today's lesson. Now, let's take it back to the studio. Thanks, Tracy. That's our show for October 10th, 2017. We would like to thank all of the students who contributed to today's episode. Please join us again tomorrow, and until then, stay safe, responsible, and respectful.